welcome back to The Crochet Crowd. I'm your host, Mikey. The letter that we're going to do today is the title of this video. Um, it's only going to be in right-handed format for this because I've been told that if you flip the video camera for the left-handed version, the letters will appear backwards for my left-handed audience. So to not upset anybody, it will not be available in left-handed. Also, in the video description, I link the playlist where all the letters will exist. They will be provided in time, but I also put one video on how to sew the appliques to the project without going through. So if you want to add personalization of a name and not ruin your project, you can do it that way as well. So I will leave that in your hands. And without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin the letter K as in kangaroo using a four and a half millimeter size G crochet hook with Karen one pound. Let's start off by chaining eight to begin. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And let's begin row number one. So let's begin and we're gonna single crochet second chain from the hook, turn it over, get the back hump of the chain, it will be nicer. And you're going to do that one plus the next three chains in a row. So we have one, two, and three. Right where you're sitting, you wanna chain a total of five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Second chain from the hook, you wanna make your, make your way all the way back up here. So you're just gonna go second chain from the hook, and then single crochet the next three that are in that chain that you just made. So we have one, two, and three. And then you're going to slip stitch into the same one that you were already in before. That's on the back there. And so this will be part of the K and now you're gonna start creating the top of the K. So let's begin to do that next and we have to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And starting with the second chain, go all the way back to where you were. So single crochet that one plus the other uh, two that are there. And we wanna slip stitch then back into where the other ones are coming out of, which is here. Then you're just going to single crochet the remaining of the, cha uh, the chain eight that you had. So we have one, and you don't really need to count it, you just gotta do it an obsession thing to count, right? And then this will be it. So you'll use this long tail to sew it down to your project. So keep that longer. Any kind of imperfection that you may see and stuff like this because you're using the same stitches. So this is the back of your spine for the K and then this is the up and this is the down. And so once it's on the project you can actually do it. Now I see that there's a hole here. So what I would do if that were me because that would bother me is that I would take this through a tapestry needle and that happens when you have a project like this is no big deal. And just take that tapestry needle at the beginning strand and I want you just to kind of pull that closed. So just going in the back side and cross over it. You're just crossing over it and that will pull it nice and together. And you want to just kind of weave in your ends a total of three times. So that was the once. So going back in the other direction. And then in the other one right here. Okay, so this will be the letter K. Once it's on your project, you can just pin it down and then shape it and then just sew it down. And this will be the letter K. Once it's shaped, right? 